going to ask both of you now to come up with three key things, three key messages from, from what we've discussed or for the next uh, bit of the season to really give a bit of guidance to, to sort of growers and advisors out there on what you would do if you were in their position. Well, my top three tips for the season really are to know your varieties, know what their, their susceptibilities are and know which diseases that you may be needing to tackle in the next month or two as we go forward through the season. Two, know your timings. T1 needs to go on at uh, leaf three, nearly emerged or fully emerged. That's important to get that, that leaf uh, protected. And number three, um, choose a product that's got broad spectrum activity across a lot of diseases. At T1 timing, we need to cover off quite a few different diseases and having a product such as Ascara or Vimoy or Plaxium, which is broad spectrum across the disease range that it controls, is a really useful attribute to have. When we get through further in towards T2, then we can start narrowing down on the disease profile that we're looking at when we know what the weather and the, the disease pattern is going to be like for the season. Uh, so my number one top tip is to walk your crops. Uh, don't be afraid to get out there. The weather's looking really good at the moment. There's no excuse now for not getting out there and really taking a look at what's happening in your crops, um, how they look like both above and below ground, whether there's any latent disease bubbling. Uh, second top tip is to really know the strengths and weaknesses of the different actives that you're using in your program and understanding how the different diseases work. So when things come in late, when they come in early, what their latent periods are, what drives them, are they wind-borne, are they splash-borne? Um, and then my third tip, I would think, um, is really just to manage your expectations as well. Um, we're having a lot of diff difficult seasons at the moment um, and things could change and turn change quite fast later in the season. So make sure to protect your crops early on. Yields um, could be really good based on the crop conditions that we have at the moment. So really do the best that you can at this time of the year, but also be prepared for things to turn very fast later in the season, um, which happened last year and could happen again this year. Okay, thank you both. I think that probably summarises and I hope that's of use to you out there. Thank you very much.